Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. In a moment, I'm going to play a video in regards to the incident that uh, we're going to have a look at here. It's a very short video, uh, but what is this about? Well, it's about a guy who drove his vehicle, this vehicle here. I mean, I don't know if it's relevant, but the article tells us that it's a VW Jetta. Don't think that's that relevant. But anyhow, this guy here, his name is Sean Flaherty. Uh, Sean Flaherty, Flaherty, I'm not sure, however you want to pronounce that, 46 years of age, thought it would be a really good idea to drive straight into a shop, a Trump store, a store which sells Trump-related, perhaps MAGA-related, Republican-related, conservative-related, right-wing politics-related paraphernalia memorabilia this kind of thing so we see the kind of thing here trump t-shirts hats hoodies flags uh the american flags uh, which are racist by the way i think i think we know that by now um does isn't it uh missy elliott tells us that the flags are racist nowadays um yeah you know, this kind of thing the eagle the bald eagle pro america pro americana and this guy smashed right into it by the way, he has some anti-Trump stickers on his car, by the way. And if it's relevant at all, it probably isn't. But he was playing uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit, Nirvana's song, Sub Pop. That's the uh, record label, isn't it? For Nirvana. Um, for Nirvana's record uh, label. Anyhow, let's watch this uh, video very quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I can confirm that is uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit playing. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. This poor guy, he must have, pardon me, shat his pants. I would have. Um, fucking hell, so lucky that nobody was there. There was only one person working at the shop, I think it said. We'll double check that in a second. Uh, by the way, the Daily Mail page for videos. Um, there we go. So this guy was going through a mental health episode. According to some reports, a man who was hearing voices smashes a Volkswagen Jetta through the front window of a souvenir store named New England for Trump in eastern Massachusetts. According to a statement from the Eastern Police Department, the terrifying moment occurred around 5 p.m. on Thursday afternoon. Responding officers found a Volkswagen Jetta crashed in the store. Well, well done for finding that. Wouldn't it be too fucking difficult? Uh, responding officers, oh, bloody blah, blah. In the video, we can see that the uh, culprit is a fan of the Nirvana song, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Uh, here's the scumbag, Sean Flaherty, 46, of Raynham, Massachusetts. His friends insist the stunt was a result of a mental health crisis and not a hatred of the former president, Trump, um, despite having an anti Trump sticker on the rear fender of his car. There is Trump with a barcode, which appears to be a Hitler-like moustache. And there's Voltaire's quote, Those who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. Okay, thank you, Voltaire. Um, so look, here's the situation. So the question is, was this a mental health episode? Is it just coincidence that this guy with anti-Trump stickers on his car drove head-on at speed, approximately 35 miles per hour, into a shop where we see at least one elderly shopper minding his own business and then having the... F Lucky he didn't have a heart attack. Maybe he did, we don't know. But uh, is it just coincidence that this nutbag chose to drive his Jetta into a Trump store? Or was it a hate crime? Did this guy pers purposefully think to himself, fucking hate Trump and Trump supporters. Fuck you, you're all fascists. You're all fucking white supremacists. I'm going to show you. I'm going to smash my car into your store. Is that what he thought? Is that what is that what you were thinking, Sean? 
You think you're a big tough guy by driving your car into a store? Is that is that how you fight fascism, is it? <sighs> so there we go. Um, what do you think? Is he going to be convicted of a hate crime? Or is he just going to be able to weasel his way out of this situation? Here's my guess. Yes, he's going to weasel his way out of the situation. Um, there's no real sympathy for Trump fans. Uh, the, the owner of the shop isn't going to get too much sympathy, probably from the local community or from anyone else. Uh, they're probably all laughing and chuckling about the demise of this guy's shop, the owner's shop. Um, there's too much hatred about Trump. There's too much hatred about those with, let's say, right wing political views, those that support Americana, those that support the Constitution, you know, the Second Amendment, the First Amendment, whatever it happens to be. Too many people are against that. Um, and in my view, don't ask me to prove this because I'm not going to be able to scour for statistics or anything, but from my impressions, um, there's a lot of violence that comes from the left, the political left. By the way, I don't write, I like getting political on this channel because there's a good chance that you guys like my videos and, and are happy to support me, but will get offended by my political views. And I don't want that to happen. Um, but uh, there, there we go. I've spilled my beans. I feel sorry for this, uh, the owner of this store. I feel sorry for the supporters of the store, the employees of the store, the patrons of this store. All they're doing is minding their own business. You know, they're supporting those that they choose to support. They, they're they allowed to have these political viewpoints. They're allowed to support Trump. They're allowed to support, um, you know, right-wing views, uh, conservative values, Republican values, Americana. They're allowed to support those things. They shouldn't feel threatened. They shouldn't literally be threatened by leftist nutbags. Yeah, who think they're a fucking tough guy by demolishing someone's business and putting people's lives in danger. There was only one employee in the store at the time of the crash. The employee was not hurt. Um, I don't know if this guy, maybe this guy is the employee. I don't know. I mean, I guess not. He's too probably a little bit too old to be the employee. No offense. Um, anyway. The scumbag in question has been charged with reckless operation of a motor vehicle and malicious destruction of a property. Additional charges could follow. So as far as I understand, there's no suggestion that this was an accident. There's no suggestion that he, uh, that there was a, a, a automotive mechanical failure. There's no suggestion that he attempted to press brake and accidentally hit the accelerator. Seemingly, from my interpretation of what the article is saying... Um, seemingly he did this knowingly and purposefully. So it's just a matter of whether or not, uh, he, hang on. Yeah. Here's the bit I want to highlight. Uh, it's, it's just a matter of whether or not he, um, chose this Trump store, uh, because it is Trump. It is a Trump store or is it, did it just happen to be, he wanted to crash into any old store. He wanted to crash into any old store and that's what he did. I mean, I don't buy it. Here's my theory. Yes, it was a hate crime. Yes, frankly, it was a hate crime. I think the guy did what he did, did what he could to see that there was nobody in this shop or in this area of the shop. And then he decided to crash into it because he saw it from the outside. He saw this and he got incensed. He got so fucking angry, so incensed that he drove right through it. I'm going to throw another thing out here, a bit random perhaps. But why the fuck do these shops... Look, this is like a car parking area by the look of it. Why do they... Why don't they put bollards in front of their windows? Come on, guys. I mean, look, anyone could drive right into that. Shouldn't you just put a bollard there to stop them from doing that? Anyway, there's that video there. It's a little bit pointless, but uh, it's a little bit pointless because do we care about those people that attack Trump supporters? I mean, a lot of people don't. I mean, I do, but, you know, thankfully nobody was hurt. Hopefully this um, shop will return. 
um, and will continue to do well. And uh, I guess that's that, really. I'll thank you for your time.